My name is Dr. Alan Watson. I'm an ophthalmologist in St. Joseph, Missouri, and we're here today to talk about eye problems. Some watery eye may be due to a problem with the tear film. There's the three components of the tear film we talked about earlier, and uh, some patients that are actually have a dry eye will perceive it as a watery eye because there's the lacrimal gland is a gland up underneath the eyelid and the orbital rim and that produces the watery component to the tears and if there's an irritant to the eye uh, the lacrimal gland will kick in and start pumping the aqueous component across the tear. Um, people with the lipid layer uh, meibomian gland type dysfunction will also frequently develop a watery eye and that's because the oily component is breaking down and they're getting little dry spots on the cornea so the lacrimal gland kicks in to try to flush the eye because of the foreign body sensation and so those patients actually may benefit by taking medications to help with the oily layer of the lid um, things that will help with that are such as hot compresses taking hot water from a tap running it uh, over a washcloth getting it hot and putting that on the eye will actually melt some of that lipid component to the lid sort of like when your mom used to dip some Crisco out of the can and heat it up on the stove it makes it less viscous and more fluidic and so that will cause you to be able to cook your french fries or whatever but by decreasing the viscosity of the oily component uh, those patients their watery eye is improved just by using a hot compress. This has been Dr. Alan Watson, ophthalmologist in St. Joseph, Missouri, discussing different eye problems and the treatment of different eye problems with you.